you. April is National Pet First Aid Awareness Month. And if you've ever had a veterinary emergency, then you know they can be sudden and unpredictable. But if you're prepared properly and react quickly, you can help your pet have the best possible outcome. Dr. Jay Margolis from the Northern Virginia Veterinary Associates is here with us this morning. And he's joined by his friend Sophie, who's calmed down just a little bit. Doctor, thank you very much for being here with us. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about Sophie. How old is she? Sophie's about eight years old, a terrier mix, a rescue dog. Well, she's very lucky to have a vet as her human friend because if there is an emergency, you know how to react. But for the rest of us, it's a frightening situation. It can be very uh, scary. The dogs seem to get themselves into all kinds of predicaments, everything. From so what are some of the predicaments that would create this emergency situation for dogs uh, things, or cats? Things that they'll eat uh, is a big issue, mm -hmm. whether they're eating chocolate, eating foreign bodies, uh, balls, uh, undergarments, <laughs> owls, undergarments? <laughs> things like that. Are, are, the wrong are, kind of bones. Yes, we had that problem kinds one of bones. time. Exactly. So if this emergency happens, the undergarments or whatever, we would have a first aid if we were dealing with humans. And you brought along some things we need in a first aid kit for animals. I did bring along a few things for first aid, uh, just some things that we might use for uh, wounds. One issue is if your animal is hurt, your pet uh, is sometimes keeping a muzzle or a leash is a good idea so that mm -hmm. nobody gets bitten. Because uh, they're frightened and scared, they, so they might even turn on their owner. That's right. Some gauze sponges or some bandage material is helpful to have. Mm -hmm. uh, Hydrogen peroxide Always can be used good. for cleaning wounds, but it's also actually used to help dogs throw up if we need to recommend that you use something at home to help the dog exactly. stop. And we see the syringe, is this to get medicine down? To get medicine down, a little neosporin or some ointment. You know, it looks pretty much like what we'd have in a human first aid kit. Are there anything specific that we should have in the first aid kit to an animal? Nothing really that different than a human first aid kit. The hydrogen peroxide is helpful to have around because right. it's good for both the wound and Sometimes we do need to induce uh, a little vomiting if they've eaten the wrong thing. Exactly. And how do we know when to not treat this ourselves with our first aid kit and get to the expert? Well, really, the best thing, I think, is get, get in touch with your veterinarian, uh, if you can, right off the bat, uh, if you know of the, any emergency, if there's any problem. Uh, give us give us a call so we can give you some advice, but we'll often we'll ask you to turn to what you have at home to use. Very good. This is great advice, and we were talking a little bit about CPR in case the dog has some breathing problems, and you said there are classes that you can attend. The Red Cross does actually have uh, first aid uh, classes that can be used for pets and helpful for pets, so that's one resource that can be used. Your veterinarian is another resource that you can use to learn how to, well, how to do some pet CPR. Doctor, thank you for being a good resource for us, and Sophie, thank you for cooperating. Let's go to Howard.